Mercedes Motoring is mostly a preservation company. We try and focus on all original Mercedes-Benz cars from the late 60s into the late 80s. Just the general feel of a preserved car versus a fully restored where you strip the paint down to bare metal and you, you, know, you redo everything. It's totally different to me. And it also feels good you know, when somebody says, and who painted your car? And I get to tell them, you know, Mercedes-Benz. We use almost all of the original parts, if they're usable. We take them off, we clean them up, put them all back together. This is a 1962 300D Adenauer. It's one of only 45 made in 1962, so it's the rarest Mercedes we've ever had here. Basically the original owner, the, uh, he's the second owner, but he bought it in 1964. And his son reached out to me and just said, my dad has this car that's been under the cover in the garage for almost 40 years. They were not like a pedestrian car in any way. They just, they were made for presidents. So I got started, I was sort of a corporate dropout. I was actually uh, the operating director of a company in Orange County that, that built these custom beach homes, which was, it was a cool job, but I've never been cut out for the sort of desk job. And I'd always loved cars, so I don't know, it just kind of, kind of fell in my lap. And then ever since I bought my first Mercedes, which has been three or four hundred cars ago, that's all I've had since. And I, that's been about 11 years. I like to just get involved with one thing and then when I move on, just jump into another. So I, I don't see it ending anytime soon. This is a 1973 250C, and it's coupe. It's a European model. I think it's had about three owners. This has been kind of my, my baby for three or so years now. What appealed to me most about it is that it's pretty much optionless. There's no air conditioning, there are no power windows, no power locks, just four wheels and a motor, really. And I've taken some really cool road trips in, in this car. The favorite part of the process for me is undoubtedly when we're not in the shop, it's when we're on the road. I love taking the cars apart and putting them back together and, and building them, but there's nothing like it when you're actually in one. This is a 1976 240D, and this one's been in the family here for quite a while now, I think three or four years. I don't remember where I originally found out about the car, but it was for sale up there in Anchorage. We drove it from Fairbanks all the way back to Los Angeles for like 4,000 miles or something like that. It took us a couple weeks. Somewhere in between there, we busted a hole in the oil pan and dumped all the oil roadside and we had to stop and fix that. That was like a half a day or a day experience, but that was kind of our, our own fault. Um, the car ran really well the whole way. Because most of my cars, they're used. Even, even some of the low mileage ones, people buy them, they use them. I don't, I don't sell to a whole lot of collectors where they just get put away and are never driven. And so a lot of, a lot of times we have cars that, that come back and we get to see them again and, and kind of tinker with them again and, and send them off to a new home. Sometimes I have this vision of what, you know, what it would have been like had I never, had I never sold any of them and I just had them all still. It would be pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs>